Today, I have a confession to make. I am a psychologist, which means I don't have prescription writing privileges because I'm not a psychiatrist, but over my 20 years of practice, I have prescribed one thing to many, many clients. I have zero remorse. What is the one thing that I have prescribed over and over again and have zero remorse about? Laughter. And today, I'm gonna talk to you about the benefits of laughter. So, grab a chair, your favorite beverage, and let's get started. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Welcome, welcome. I'm Dr. Tracy Dickens, a psychologist. If this is your first time here, Welcome. I'm so glad that you found my channel. And if you have been here before, welcome back. It's so great to spend time with you again today. Before we go to the benefits of laughter, I want to share something that some of you may know and some of you may not know. One day, God came to Abraham and Sarah and told Abraham that he was going to be the father of many nations. This was a really bizarre promise because Abraham was 99 and Sarah, his wife, was 89 and she was barren. And so to hear this <laughs> promise that he was going to be the father of many nations was, well, laughable. And in fact, Abraham did what a lot of us would do. He laughed. Like he literally fell on the ground and laughed. And some of that was joy that he was getting a promise, but some of it was legitimately like the possibility that he would be fathering a child. Well, sure enough, a year later, he had a son and God told Abraham what to name that son, Isaac, which means he laughs. So every time Abraham looked at Isaac, he was reminded that he laughed at God's promise and was also reminded that in the end, God got the last laugh. So if God has a sense of humor, that means you and I have a sense of humor, that means laughter must be pretty doggone important. And I'm gonna tell you why. When we laugh, we breathe in more air. And that means there's more oxygen in our system for our body to function as it was designed to function. Our organs run better, our heart beats faster, our mind thinks more clearly, but there's even more to it than that. You see this in the heart, and when it gets more oxygen, it helps the blood flow better. And with better blood flow, that means that your arterial walls will not stiffen, which means your heart beats better. Also, laughter improves your mood. When you laugh, that laughter releases endorphins in our system, those feel-good hormones, and that just lifts your mood, it pulls you out of the ho-hum. And I've kind of discovered over the years, as I've read a number of biographies, that a lot of comedians, if you get them behind closed doors, they will tell you that they struggle with depression. And being funny was one of the things that got them through their childhood and got them through adulthood and keeps them going from day to day. Laughing also reduces physical and emotional distress. How does it do that? Well, when we laugh, like I mentioned earlier, we get an increase in endorphins that help us feel good, but we also see a drop in the cortisol level in our system. And cortisol is the hormone that's responsible for our flight or flight response. So if that hormone is lower, we have less muscle tension. And some research has found that just laughing for a few minutes can give you up to 45 minutes of reduced muscle tension. If you have reduced muscle tension, that also means you have improved sleep. 
because a lot of us struggle to get to sleep at night because, well, we're tense, we're anxious, we're on edge. But if our body is relaxed, we can get to sleep a lot better. And there's more. We also have better tolerance for pain. Research shows that when people are laughing, they just don't register pain as much. And again, the cortisol levels are down, the endorphins are up, and so you can tolerate pain much better. I can testify to this. A few years ago, I had a surgery and I knew about the benefits of laughter. And so I strategically picked out a murder mystery series that was funny. And I read the entire series when I was recovering for those two weeks. And it was great. I mean, it was great, except for I would laugh so hard sometimes that my stitches would hurt because the surgery was in my stomach, but it was so worth it. Another benefit of laughter shows up in our immune system and our ability to resist viruses. When we laugh, because our cortisol levels go down, our digestive system works better and our digestive system, our gut, is where a large portion of our immune system is housed. And when we laugh, our body produces more antibodies that are resistant to viruses, which means you're less likely to get sick. Who knew laughter could be so powerful? I mean, just thinking about it makes me kind of want to <laughs> laugh, but it is. And here's the thing it really helps us connect to other people. We can just hear somebody laugh in another room and our mind immediately starts to prepare our body to laugh. And whenever we see someone laughing, even if we can't hear them, our mind, because we're designed to mirror what we see in other people, will pull a laughter out of us as well. So it really connects us. I mean, have you ever noticed that if your friend starts laughing about something, then you start laughing and then they start laughing and their laugh gets bigger and then your laugh gets bigger and then before you know it, you're spitting your soda across the table, right? I mean, maybe that was just me, but I'm pretty sure somebody else out there has had that experience where you just feed off of each other with the laughter because it connects us. It makes us feel like we're a part of something bigger and just enjoyable and bonding. That's why a lot of people still like to go to the theater because in the theater, when you laugh or when you cry, it's that sense of communal connection. I mean, it really does make you just feel like you belong. So now I suspect some of you out there are thinking, yeah, but when I'm depressed, I just don't feel like laughing. I just don't have an enemy. I can't I can't, I can't get there. Even if I watch a comedy, I just sit there and stare at the screen and they might as well be reading the phone book. So how do you get over that hump? Well, you might try just saying, e I know it seems weird, but here's the thing. When we say e our mouth moves in the shape of a smile and a laugh. Our brain is tricked into believing that we're laughing and it releases endorphins, so it helps our mood. Now, I'm not saying you're gonna wanna go frolic through tulips, but it's a good start in the right direction. And as I mentioned before, if you can get with someone else, that will also help. I know a lot of times when we're depressed or anxious, we may not want to be around people, but laughter is contagious. So if you can invite a friend over to sit down and watch a comedy, and when they laugh, chances are you may laugh with them. Maybe not a lot, but you may find that you're able to accomplish a laugh. Some other things that I suggest to clients is to invest in a joke book. It doesn't even have to be a good one. Go to the dollar store and get a cheapy knock-knock joke book, or you can just get a bag of Laffy Taffy and read all the silly jokes on each candy. Now, I'm not condoning that you eat the whole bag of Laffy Taffy. I'm just saying Laffy Taffy's got some pretty great jokes. Other ways that you can infuse your life with a little bit of laughter is maybe have a funny picture laying around or a funny greeting card that you may stick to your bathroom mirror. I personally have about three or four YouTube channels that absolutely crack me up. You can watch silly cat videos, you can watch a funny movie. 
The point is, if you're struggling with how to find your laugh, to be intentional, and yes, I recognize that in the moment, it may not be the usual belly roll of a laugh, but just exposing yourself to laughter will in time help. And obviously, if it doesn't, well then, you come see me. Don't be shy, go ahead, let the laughter begin. If you like this video, push the like thumbs up down below and subscribe to this channel so you can come back and spend time with me again. And don't forget to look down in the description. Until next time, laugh like nobody's watching and choose joy. And yeah, I'll see you soon. What did Adam tell Eve when he was handing her clothes? He told her, take it or leave it. <laughs> <laughs>